Hello and welcome. Today we're going to do some rust removal by electrolysis treatment. And for this project you will need something to remove the rust from. And in my case, a tool. You also need some kind of jaw, which cannot lead electricity. So I used a glass jaw, which was slightly smaller than my tool. But the bigger the better. You also need salt, as much salt as possible, and some kind of power supply. This is a 12 volt power supply, which I have attached a couple of alligator clips to. And we should not forget to mention that you need some kind of metal that you're willing to sacrifice, and optional, a piece of sandpaper as well. And this piece of metal should be larger than the object we want to remove the rust from. I'm starting off by blending in all of my salt, it could be sea salt or regular table salt, directly into my hot tap water. Try to dissolve as much salt as possible into your water to get an even better result. I'm going to take my metal object, or in my case this rusty tool, and attach it to the cathode of the DC power supply. And I'm also going to make sure that the alligator clip is not touching the salt water, so it's only the metal object which is submerged into the liquid. And to the anode of the DC power supply, or plus, I'm going to attach the metal object which we are going to sacrifice. And when all of this is done, we're going to plug in the power supply into the wall, and it's set to 12 volt. Make sure that the piece of metal that you want to remove the rust from is the one bubbling the most. It almost seems to boil around it. If this is not the case, just switch the polarity or the alligator clips to make the right piece uh, bubble. And make sure to do this in a well ventilated area. I'm doing this in a window or not right now in the footage, but I have moved the piece of a lot of the jar to the window right next to the table, which you can see in the background. And this is to avoid any kind of fumes or gases uh, released into the air. And for safety reason, make sure if you're using alligator clips, go and check the wires now and then to see so the wires are not too warm. The jar where the two metal pieces has now been left alone for one and a half to two hours. And it's now time to clean this tool off and see the result of this experiment. But of course, depending on the size of your metal object which you want to remove rust from, the amount of salt dissolved into the water, the size of the jar, your power supply, this may change the time required to get a good result. But do it like I'm doing right now. Clean it off if you're not happy with the result, put it back in for a few hours, and clean it off again until you're pleased with the result. But one and a half hour, or two hours, I don't know, seems to do the trick for this tool. Uh, here you can see what we began with, the rust, and how the clean part is looking right now. And I, it's looking really good, in my opinion. So I'm going to dip the other side, clean it, and uh, make the complete rust removal for this tool. And the sacrificial piece of metal you can of course use for new rust removal. Just clean it off, use some sandpaper and it's good to go again. And since I don't know what the container um, or the liquid contains, I'm going to leave this to a place where you can leave chemicals. But if you know if it's uh, non-toxic, which I uh, have a hard time to believe, 
uh, please leave it in the comment section to let everyone know, including me, so we all can share this uh, information together. And if you have made this project, please leave a link in the description to a picture where you have removed some rust from a Mel object. It's always fun to see. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please consider to hit the subscribe button, the like button, leave a comment in the comment section. And you may also like to watch some of my other videos, which you can find to the left. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.